better. Uh, Nate's but it's still bothering him, but he's going to play tonight. You know, J.O. is, I haven't really checked. So we're doing the same. How are you feeling about lining in the minutes that you <clears> can for some of the guys who are playing who are banged up? Uh, you know, you really don't. You're just trying to coach the game and uh, look at their minutes overall. Uh, Rondo's a guy that uh, we have to lower his minutes. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, and then I would say the only other guy would be Ray. If I looked at you know our total minutes thus far, you know we played a lot of minutes the first ten games, so they're, they're going to get lower. Uh, but Rondo's are high. Uh, everyone else is our management. How do you know? Is it very to the point where maybe you can start? Going no, he's getting there. We haven't had a lot of practices, you know, uh, but he's getting better. He's going to get his time. I mean, I, I know how you guys love the backup quarterbacks, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, Avery will get his shot eventually uh, when he's ready. With Ray, you often play him with the other four guys off the bench. Yeah. Is he just a, a, a good fit for that? For that well, he, he brings some shooting, you know, um, and and that's what you're always worried about balance. You want to make sure you have a post player with the second unit. Um, you know, and that's where the injuries, you know, with Perk, you know, not here or whoever, and you're stacking the starting lineup now. You know, your original plans was your second unit would have a dominant post player, but you know he's with the starters now, and so Marquise in a lot of ways is our post player with the second unit, and but then you need shooting around that, so that's why Ray's out there. We have gone a lot uh, of late with Paul and Marquise because Marquise is you know he's played the point for <laughs> one of the reasons, and uh, he's defensively really has picked up, you know, and that's been great for us.